Hi, I'm Tyler from uh, Tidy Project, and what I want to introduce today is a very common exercise for low back pain. It's called prone extension or sloppy push ups. So, Zoe, uh, my wife here, is going to be the demo today. Say hi, Zoe. Hi. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do, Zoe, is I'm going to demonstrate the exercise, and we're going to then get you to do it, and we're going to talk a little bit about why we do it and, and what we're looking for. So important thing here, Zoe, is we want to make sure that we keep our hips or belt line down on the bed. And then what we're going to look for is the position that's most appropriate for you, for your hands. So I'll just demonstrate. Top position here, deep breath out. And back down. And then another one. Up, deep breath out. And back down. So this is a movement that shouldn't increase pain when you do it. If pain increases while we're doing the exercise, often it's because the hands are too close to us. So we just want to make sure that we try doing the same motion again with the hands further forward. Uh, deep breath out. So we want to make sure that our elbows are fully straight while we're doing it, just to make sure that each rep is exactly the same. Again, if your pain was still increasing or you had pain while you were doing that, you would still bring your hands further forward still. So deep breath out. And back down. All right, so Zoe, let's have you give it a try. Nope. Okay, so that's a great starting position. So what we're looking for is that her pelvis is staying down on the floor. And so let's have her go through a repetition here and, and see how we do. Good, so her elbows are straight out here. The belt line is staying down. So you just want to make sure that she gets a deep breath out at the top. When she gets the deep breath out, what we see is we get this, what we call a sag, so the muscles of the low back relax. When uh, we're dealing with low back pain, often a lot of the pain is actually from the tension, and we want to make sure that that deep breath is happening so that the tension actually comes down. So you can lower yourself there, Zoe. So what we're going to get Zoe to do is we're going to get her to do a set of 10. So typically with sloppy push-ups or prone extension, we prescribe them in sets of 10. So let's have Zoe do 10 and see how she does. Great. So the pace that she's doing it is just perfect. So we don't want too much of a pause. We want to continue to do it. If I'm working with her with my client, I'd ask her, hey Zoe, how are you doing? Great. So no pain, things look great. What we should see if she started with some pain is that we actually see that there's a decrease in pain after the 10 repetitions. Are you counting there, Zoe? Eight, I think. She's very confident, so she's at eight. Let's just do one more there. Beautiful. So Zoe actually has very good low back mobility, so she was able to have her hands fairly close to her, so it looks actually more like the cobra pose in yoga. Most of us actually have quite poor mobility through there, so we would have our hands a bit further forward. Even if your mobility is typically very good, when you're in pain and things are sore and stiff, sometimes you'll just find that you have to bring your hands further forward and that's no problem. So typically what we're looking for in terms of rep range as I said, is sets of 10. And if we're looking at it as a pain management tool, we're, we're looking at roughly 10 of those every two hours. We'd be looking at five sets of 10 per day. Again, we need to make sure that our treatment plans are individualized, but that is a typical treatment, modeling, and prescription for that exercise. So thanks for your help, Zoe, and uh, thanks for tuning in.